One of the smallest cities in Central Texas is big on fighting open records requests. Records the Texas Attorney General believes should be made public by law. KXAN's Jody Barr continues investigating positions of power. He's discovered an unusual and expensive effort by the city of Hutto to keep its information secret. Sit back and watch a Hutto City Council meeting. Get off the pot, because what you guys are doing right now is f One thing's clear. There's things that are questionable. There are some in Hutto who don't trust the people running it. This is crap. It's time to clean house. Robin Sutton is one. My purpose is just to shine a light on what's happening in this town and try to get some transparency and get some honesty and get straight answers. Part of what they're angry over. The city hired an Austin law firm in 2017. This is that agreement. And after a few months on the job, these attorneys filed the city's first of 17 lawsuits against the Texas Attorney General's office. A taxpayer had asked for public information the city did not want to release, but the AG said it should. The AG's office has looked at what you've submitted and still ruled in many cases that you got to release this, but you all contend it still should be kept from the public. We contend the AG's office got it wrong, okay? When you file a public information request in Texas, a city can choose to release those records or it can ask the AG's office for a ruling. If the AG's office believes records must be released under the state's Public Information Act, it tells the city to release them. Our investigation found in five years, Hutto has sued the AG more than any other government agency in Texas, except for Dallas, a city of 1.3 million people. How can the Attorney General of Texas have gotten it so wrong so many times when it comes to the city of Hutto? The AG's office is entitled to its opinion, and it takes a very aggressive view on what should be disclosed, okay? And as a result, they tend to be on the side of, you need to turn everything over. Taxpayers ask for things like text messages, emails, investigations of city officials, even invoices that show how the city is spending tax dollars. That also includes what the city paid to the lawyers fighting these information requests. We're paying to get the records and we're paying the law firm to keep them from us, pretty much, yeah. Does that make much sense to you? It makes no sense. It means they're hiding something. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how many we've, I mean, that's all done through the, the city secretary's office and handled legally, you know, follows the legal laws of the state of Texas. Mayor Doug Gall told us he has no idea of the number of lawsuits Hutto's filed, though some involve keeping his own communications from the public. You look at what the city's trying to keep from the public. Is it hard to understand why the public may look at this and say, golly, this, this does not look transparent? I, I can understand their concerns. And I think it's, I mean, I think it's, it is something, I mean, you brought that out. I think it's something maybe we need to take a look at and see what, what, what some of those are. I mean, we, as a council, can look at that and follow, verify what our procedures and policies are. And we'll follow up to see if they change any procedures or policies. Now, Robert Sidney, the city's attorney, tells me they're simply using the legal avenues the legislature provides cities when cities believe that certain information should not be made public. And you mentioned that Hutto has filed 17 lawsuits mm -hmm. in the past five years. How common is it for cities to sue the Texas Attorney General over open records? Well, not common at all. 17 in Hutto compared with the city of Austin in the last five years, the city of Austin sued the AG's office just twice. Interesting. All right, Jody, thank you. And you can learn what kind of information falls under the state's Public Information Act in the Investigate section of our website, kxan.com.